This is the SSS and SAS Triangle Congruence Tutorial. SSS in geometry stands for side, side, side. And what it means is that if you have three sides of one triangle congruent to three sides of another triangle, then those two triangles are congruent. In this example, we could say that triangle A B, C is congruent to triangle X, Y, Z because of this postulate. You can see that segment AB is congruent to segment XY and segment BC is congruent to segment YZ and lastly that segment AC is congruent to segment XZ. Now what that means for you is if you were looking at a problem, let's get rid of that. If you were looking at a problem, and let's say that this side on triangle ABC was 4, and this side over here was 5, and this side over here was 3, then triangle XYZ's side lengths would be 4, 5, and 3 because these two triangles are congruent by side, side, side. These sides should match up, the sides of X, Y, Z should match up with the sides of A, B, C. Now what if instead of numbers, we had variables in that place? So for example, what if side A, B on triangle A, B, C were 2x and side B, C were 3x minus 4 and side AC were 9 and let's look at triangle XYZ and we'll say that side XY is 10 YZ is X plus 6 and XZ is 2X minus 1 well now that you know that they're congruent what you can do is match these sides up and solve for that variable X for example if you know that AB is congruent to side XY then you could set 2x equal to 10. You could divide by 2 on both sides and get x equals 5. That could help you solve for all the remaining sides of both triangles. Knowing that, side AB must also be 10, which obviously is congruent to side XY. Side BC would be 3 times 5, which is 15, minus 4, should make that side 11. To match it up, let's write 11. Let's match it up to yz, x plus 6. We know that x is 5. 5 plus 6 is 11, so that works out. And on the bottom of the triangles, we know that ac is 9 because they've told us that. xz, we could plug in that 5. 2 times 5 minus 1 is also 9. So that tells us that these two triangles are congruent, and we use the side-side-side postulate to be able to prove that. Let's take a look now at the side-angle-side postulate. So let's get rid of all this work here, and let's get rid of, well, we can leave the side-side-side up. So side-angle-side, SAS, means that for two triangles to be congruent using this postulate, they must have two sides that are congruent and an included angle that is also congruent. What I mean by an included angle is that the angle falls between those two congruent sides. Notice how the A falls between the two S's here? That's a good way to remember that the angle has to be between those two sides. And you can tell that this angle, angle G, is between the congruent sides GH and GI that are congruent with triangle QRS, sides QR, and QS. Angle Q and angle G of these two triangles are congruent to each other. So, what happens if we had some numbers in there? What happens if, let's say, this were 3, this were 4, and this side were 5? Then because these two triangles are congruent, triangle GHI, being congruent to triangle QRS, then side QR must be 3, QS must be 4, and RS must be 5.
because these triangles are congruent through the SAS postulate, the side angle side postulate. Let me show you how that can help you solve when you have variables in place. For example, let's just throw some numbers in here for triangle GHI. We'll make this side 3, GI will make 2x, and HI will make 2x plus 1. On side QR of QRS, we're going to make this side x plus 1, this side will make 4, and side RS, let's make 5x minus 5. I'm going to pick side GH and QR to solve for x. We know the value of GH, it's 3. And we know that GH is congruent to QR, so it's congruent to x plus 1. So let's solve for x. We'll subtract 1 from both sides. The 1's on the right will cancel. And you'll see that 2 is equal to x. Let's plug it in on all the sides and check our work. On the bottom of triangle GHI, segment GI, 2x is really just 2 times 2, or 4. And that does match up with side QS, which we know to be congruent to side GI. Let's take a look at the two hypotenuses. HI is 2x plus 1. Well, we know that x is 2, so it's really 2 times 2 plus 1. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, so this hypotenuse must be 5. Let's check the other hypotenuse, rs. It's 5 times x, which we know is 2. Oops, I meant to write minus 5 earlier. Minus 5. Well, 5 times 2 is 10, minus 5 is 5. So this side is 5 as well, which makes them congruent. So you can tell that these two sides are congruent already. We knew that before we started because of the SAS, side angle side congruency postulate. So that's our SSS and SAS triangle congruence tutorial.